Hello and welcome to Jeanette's I'm Every Woman TV. I'm your host Jeanette Burke and we are live on location at the Toronto International Film Festival in the 42nd year. Today we are going to be talking with some of your favorite celebs. These are female celebs and male celebs, but the female celebs are strong female characters that have a lot of inspiration so we're happy to share it with you. We're here at the Leisure Seeker, written by Stephen Amadon and Marco Cohen. And it stars Helen Miron and Donald Sutherland. We're going to be speaking with the directors, the screenwriters, and of course an interview with Miss Miron and Donald Sutherland on a very important role that deals with two diseases, Alzheimer's and cancer. So this film is about a last hurrah, a married couple on a journey in an RV they call the Leisure Seeker from Boston to Key West. Miss Murren's role, her character has cancer, her husband has Alzheimer's. How horrific and yet they make this the most light-hearted, wonderful and joyous film to watch celebrating life. How did you find to come to the strength to, to do this part. I mean, you've played so many different things and this part is a very difficult part, a man suffering from Alzheimer's disease. How do you, how do you make it work? There's more dementia than, than you, because Alzheimer's, you're there. Uh, dementia, he was in and out of, you know, so it's not really Alzheimer's, but, um, you know, I prepared. I, I did a lot of work, um, research, I went to the, I'm trying to remember that. I, uh, I can't remember the name of the organization that I went that trains caregivers for for dementia and for Alzheimer's. And uh, I have friends who suffer from you know struggles with with remembering. Uh, some with Alzheimer's, one with Alzheimer's in particular, but he's dead now. Um, and and the script Stephen Amidon wrote a wonderful script. And when you work with Helen, uh, everything changes. You know. So, was this one of your most favorite roles to play? You know something, I have children, and not one of those children would I ever call my favorite. Okay, I see what okay. you're saying with that. Yeah. No, no, I mean, the, the, each film that I make has a director, has other actors. Uh, I can't ever say that I prefer one to the other. I can tell you that working with Federico Fellini was breathtaking. Um, that working with Christian Duguay two or three times, who's a Canadian director, was just got to the very center of my soul. All of these people, from Bernardo to Paolo, uh, but at the, oh, I know what. Hang on a second. No, okay. She was asking me what I was doing now. I'm, I'm making, I'm making a, a television series for Danny Boyle called... What are you doing? What? I'm making a television series. Okay, I, I've got to go because Helen's, Helen's, Helen's in a hurry. But I'm making a television series for Danny Boyle about John Paul Getty. And I'm doing a little piece in a film uh, with Brad Pitt that James Gray is directing. Call that Astra. Yeah, so um, I want to thank you for taking the time to talk with me and tell you how beautiful you look. Your dress is stunning. It's an honor to meet you. This role, Ella, very important role. You're the matriarch of the family. I know you're used to playing very strong women from Queens to Holocaust survivors, but this was a very important role as a woman who's suffering with her own illness and going and taking care of your family and your husband. Who's well, no, that's not what she's doing. She's, she's living. She's living. Actually, she's not taking care of her family. She's beyond that. And I think that's very important. Uh, um, lesson. I think what tends to happen with women is that they start becoming defined by their family, by their parents, by, I mean by their children, by their grandchildren, by their husbands. Ella is breaking free of that. She's no longer defined by her family. She's defined simply by who she is. She's done that. That's done, that's dusted, they're out, they're doing their thing. And, um, and I think that's a very important story in the film. And I think so too, and it sounds a lot like maybe you, your personality. Well, I've never had children, so it's easy for me. But, you know, 
Uh, maybe. So, um, please tell me what motivated you to write this incredible script. Um, you know, it, there is a lot of sadness, but you do it with such grace and joy and fun. How were you able to master all that in your writing? Well, I, I you know, first of all, I wrote it with Paolo and another, some other Italian writers, so it wasn't just me. I think what I think what we wanted to do was to take the great tradition of the American road movie. You know, starting with. Wow, uh, you know, uh, Five Easy Pieces, Bonnie and Clyde, Easy Rider, all the movies we loved when we were all young. And, and make it about people who were kind of not at the beginning of their lives, but at the end of their lives. You know, and to really make a movie about the sense of freedom, the sense of liberation, the sense of, uh, of not being controlled. And yet take it with people who have been together for 50 years and still love each other very much. So we wanted to make a love story. Yeah, Thank you so that. much for your time today. Too. Okay, quickly, I'm just going to say, I go right to the chase here. We're a woman show. You wrote this, uh, a lot of the character, the strong female character, Ella. <laughs> Big female yeah. influence. Because women are stronger yeah, yeah, yeah. than male. It's okay. a, yes, it's, it's I want to talk to you about that because yeah. to get through a movie yes. like this with a serious subject that has light moments, you need a strong woman who can handle it all. Yes, uh, okay, so where do you get your influences and why, exactly why did you... Think about life. Okay. Uh, life is something funny and dramatic at the same time and in a couple, what lead what pushes you toward the, the life is, is the woman. The woman. 50 years because of it. In the this woman world. is I, has the ability of creating, of uh, generating. It's, uh, and this is the secret of the strength of a woman who looks, who, who seems uh, full, of life, full of life, even if, even though she is still standing for a miracle because it's, she's a terminal. Uh, she has a terminal illness. And a, and a husband with no memory. She's so full of life. She's so uh, strong. And uh, and their choice is can sound also a little outrageous. I mean, it's, it's full of courage, but respectful and full of love. Thank you for making this movie.